Good evening, everybody. I'm meteorologist Jesse Hawila. I want to give you an update on Hurricane Barrel in the Atlantic. Right now, as we're, we're taping this here, this is 720 miles east southeast of Barbados. It is a category one hurricane with winds of 75 miles per hour, gust up to 90. Uh, this is actually the farthest east in the Atlantic a hurricane has formed in June. It beat out the hurricane uh, in Trinidad back in 1933. Right now, Barrel is forecast to become a major hurricane, a category three, as it moves toward the Lesser Antilles. So here's a look at the uh, current watches and warnings in place. You have the yellow shaded area. Here's a hurricane watch. Uh, pink shaded areas, again, these extend up uh, the Windward Islands. Bridgetown, that's a hurricane warning in effect. And then south of that, you have a tropical storm watch. So again, pretty dangerous conditions going in uh, to the to the Windward Islands as these uh, as Hurricane Barrel starts to move toward that area. So here's the latest track of Barrel as it moves to the west. We expect it to be a category two hurricane possibly late tonight or overnight, certainly by tomorrow afternoon, 105 mile per hour winds at one o'clock. By the time we get to uh, uh, overnight Sunday into Monday, that's when we're expecting landfall uh, in the Lesser Antilles. That's when it could be a category three hurricane by Monday at 1 p.m. The center of this likely on the other side of the islands, 130, 120 mile per hour winds rather, category three hurricane, that's considered a major hurricane. Then it moves through the Caribbean. Right now, the, the you know, cone of uncertainty is, is not very wide. Uh, there's at least some agreement with the models on where this is going. And, and this is, you know, in this area is where we're expecting. Right now, it looks like it'll miss Puerto Rico. It's likely to go south of Hispaniola, Jamaica in the center of the, the path of uncertainty. Uh, it's going to be a category two around that time, Wednesday afternoon, winds of 105 miles per hour. Then it moves closer to the Yucatan Thursday, one o'clock. It'll be a category one hurricane uh, with winds uh, around 85 miles per hour. And I think the question a lot of folks in uh, the U.S. are going to be asking, well, what about after that? Well, again, Thursday is the 4th of July, so the, the least we could do here is kind of show you some of the models and what they're showing. Each line is going to be an individual model on the path, so you can see pretty good convergence on where that track's going to be through the Caribbean. Then it gets a, a lot more murky after that. There's at least some decent agreement uh, of some landfall near the Yucatan, so Cancun at risk. This would be closer to the 5th or 6th of July. Then by the 7th, we will have to watch the Gulf of Mexico. You know, there's a, and here's the thing, it's so far out, it's impossible to say. I would just say, keep an eye on it. You know, if you live in, if you have friends in Galveston, you're visiting Galveston, down to Brownsville, Corpus Christi, even over toward New Orleans, uh, you know, this system could go West into Mexico, it could lift a little bit farther north into Texas. Maybe it jogs even farther north toward Louisiana. I, I say all that because the uncertainty is just too high. I know somebody watching right now is still saying, well, aren't you supposed to tell us? Well, the question, you know, the answer is it's just impossible to say this far out. There's at least decent agreement, though, that it is uh, headed toward the Yucatan. So again, hurricane barrel, category one hurricane as of this evening, likely to become a major hurricane before the beginning of the work week.